um, there we go again. Uh, another week, another loss for Southampton, three 0 at home to Chelsea. Never a, a nice result to um, to accept. Oh, obviously, it's against Chelsea. I kind of knew we weren't going to win this game, um, and obviously they played really well for the most part. I'd, I'd say Chelsea did, and at the end of the day, they probably did deserve the win. I mean, three 0 probably does show that. But I think the main thing that I can take from this game is. Yet again, I don't think that Southampton played badly. And that's a horrible thing to be able to say, because I've said that a number of times since the season started, that Southampton have actually played well, but we just don't get any results. Um, at least this time, it wasn't that we lost uh, a lead from like a winning position or from a good position like we did against Watford, where we were playing amazingly and then suddenly there's a goal and then we're, we're screwed um, against a run of play. But... I, I don't think we played badly and I think there were definitely spells today where we looked very dominant and actually it's weird that I can I can say this is that I feel every single Chelsea goal came against the run of play so we'll, we'll start, start off um, in the first half there was a, a big penalty shout now um, one thing I can say about Chelsea fans is <laughs> that often a lot of them not all of them a lot of them are, are quite uh, angry at any decision that goes against them right so I, I looked on twitter after this penalty shout happened and i saw so many people slating the ref like how has he not given that as a penalty right originally i thought it was a fantastic tackle and i watched about five different replays that all looked like who got the ball and it was amazing i can say now that it should have been a penalty that if the referee was in a better position he would have given it it should have been a penalty because it was a foul um, and uh, like, I don't want people thinking that I'm denying the fact that it was a foul, but where the referee was, he had, I think, three players in front of him, directly in front of him, uh, and then behind that was Hoot and Giroud. And from that angle, all you can see is where the ball ends up afterwards and how close the two players were. And if the referee doesn't have a confident decision as to whether it was a foul or not, then he can't give it. If those three players weren't there, and he was able to see that Giroud hit the ball out of the way. Um, and it wasn't Hoot that hit the ball at that angle. To be honest, it's quite a weird angle for the ball to bounce off of Giroud. And I feel like that probably um, impacted it somewhat. Is that the ball went very far to the left of Giroud. But not n not normally like a, a touch that you'd expect from an attacking player running into the box. So um, I guess the ref kind of saw that and was like, okay. Uh, it must have been who who got the ball, but I'm not saying that it wasn't a foul because it was. After like the sixth replay, there was one that was a good angle, and you could see uh, that Giroud got the ball first, and and so I completely concede that was a penalty. Anyway, um, after that, Southampton actually had a good run of play. We really should have scored um, Danny Ings miss from like three yards out, which is not something I'd ever think I'd be able to say. Although he did have that effort saved by Pickford in the Everton game, like on the second. Second week of the season, which again was very close, but that was that was a good save. This one was just a miss, and it was a real shame. But in there was like a five ten minute spell where we actually looked dangerous, and Chelsea were backing off us. And obviously, it took way too long for that to happen because it was right at the end of the second half that this kind of uh, not dominance but actual aggressive attacking play happened from Saints. And then it was straight after this big period of Saints actually being on top of the ball where. Um, Chelsea scored their first goal with, with Hoot coming out of position to tackle, uh, I think it was to tackle Hazard, and then just making the wrong pass. He shouldn't have passed it to Hoybia, I think. Uh, instead, he uh, he should have passed it to Cedric, I think, it was um, to pass it to Hoybia. He lost the ball, Hoot's out of position, Hazard can easily get him behind and score a very good goal. He, he managed to trick McCarthy to dive in the wrong way, and it was a good finish. Um, but it, I won't say it's against the, the run of play of the entire half, but at that little period, that 10-minute period, I feel like it was. Um, so 1-0, half-time, what can you do? Second half, right, we come out and we look a lot better. We look we, This season, I've never been able to say that we've had a good start to a second half. And I feel like that might be down to the fact that often we're not behind at half time I guess when we're playing when we're playing playing against smaller teams than Chelsea and Liverpool then, then that's obviously going to be the case but um yeah we've never had a good start to a second half and this half we did and it was really good attacking football unfortunately we couldn't get really anywhere with it Bertrand had a really good opportunity not as, as easy as um Danny Ingsy but you'd expect him to keep it down because Bertrand isn't a bad finisher we saw his goal against Leicester and that was amazing um 
but we we played this half amazingly and really really strong attacking football and against run of play Chelsea get a free kick and it's a really well worked free kick uh, Giroud does really well I'm sure he was trying to shoot but to get the ball into the box from from the initial free kick um, but uh, it was just the Saints switched off and I'm not going to say that this was a good goal for Chelsea I think it was an easy goal for Chelsea because we didn't keep our positions uh, when we were running back into the box uh, from the free kick we just left ourselves in a big line where the ball went past everyone people were thinking about hitting it and didn't and instead it fell to Barkley with a, a really scuffy little deflection shot and fair enough for Barkley for scoring but I, I, again I don't think that was very reflective of that period of play uh, and then the rest of the half right again another thing with Chelsea fans is, is the anger and I've gone on, on Twitter and, and seen people really don't get football when they're passionate about their side obviously I'm going to be biased towards Southampton sometimes I could admit we didn't uh, we didn't deserve to get anything from this or we deserved probably to get a goal but we didn't deserve to get points from this game because Chelsea were way better but I feel like the supporters don't Chelsea supporters in this instance don't really understand how football works because they were saying like on their tweets and stuff it's just constant slating Southampton for being a really really dirty team and cynical fouls everywhere but it's not it was that like all these little fouls came from when Chelsea were on the break they're a lot better than us on the break and it's a, it's not a cynical foul if it's if you kind of have to make it that's not that's not being cynical that's being tactical and there were a couple of instances where there were some really good tactical fouls by like Danny Ings um, who, did, who did a really really decent tackle and I think that might have been the one that led to their goal but I can't actually remember but anyway yeah there's there's a difference between cynical and a clear foul right just because it's a clear foul doesn't mean that it there was a, an intent to hurt someone cynical is, is the intent to hurt someone and the amount of, of comments on, on how dirty a team Southampton are I really don't think we were dirty we got six yellow cards right obviously you're gonna think oh my god they got six yellow cards that's that's really dirty but honestly they were just being under pressure and and taking the foul rather than taking the goal and that's not that's not being cynical right but I just want to make that clear the one cynical foul there was was Danny Ings, who I think was really lucky to stay on the pitch. This was in the last 10 minutes or so. He did a, a relatively, really bad challenge. And um, I think he was lucky because he'd, he hadn't been yellow carded earlier on. Um, but I, I do think he was lucky to stay on the pitch. Obviously, I'm very thankful that he wasn't because he is a danger man. And um, we saw that towards the end. Uh, both Nathan Redmond and Ings having very similar shots that, um, is it Kepa, the... the the Chelsea goalkeeper did some really good saves for and that's just proof of how we weren't like um, a poor attacking side we did have some really good chances and we had some really good passage, passages of play it just wasn't completely, completely consistent and then we just left spaces for the the counter-attack and, and the kind of uh, out of nowhere or against the run of play goal and that was the same with the third goal Morata does amazingly well with that finish like seriously a fair play for Morata because um like he does get slated a lot um but he managed to get a good finish there he should have scored earlier on actually but McCarthy made a good save he, he tried, tried to trick McCarthy and it didn't work and, but yeah he got a goal uh, but it was just a, a big gap left because it was against the run of play we had too many players push forward and yeah it, it just felt against the run of play and it's weird to say that at, at a 3-0 loss every single goal was against the run of play but in my opinion there is a case for that the first one being that 10 minute period of us attacking and then suddenly uh, they get through. The second one being a, a massively strong second half beginning and then they get a free kick and score from it. And then the third one being, well, for the majority of the second half, I'd say we were the better, more attacking team. Um, and then they just get a chance right at the end and take it. So I can't complain with this match. I think Southampton played very well, but not good enough. And that's the thing. We need to make sure that we can be confident in how we how we do things that's at half time we brought on Romeo and, and took out a centre back so we had to play more attacking and that's the kind of performance we need to be putting in against bigger teams is, is that from the start put pressure on them rather than sit off them for the first half um, and it's a shame because like you saw Saints did look quite promising on, on uh, in the second half especially uh, but yeah I can't really um, 
I can't say much because we lost 3-0. I'm I'm disappointed that we didn't get a goal. I'm upset that it's 3-0, but I had pretty much come to terms we were going to lose this game because it's against Chelsea. Obviously, it's a home game. It makes it really hard that we... Like, Leicester have won more games at St Mary's in the last... Well, since last year than we have, I think, something like that. Um, so it's just a, a bit of a, of, a, of a poo. But at the end of the day, we, we played-ish well, and so we can't... Um, yeah, that's all we can say, and we just need to build on that strong performance. Um, well, I, I see. I keep that's the thing. I keep calling it a strong performance because I, in my opinion, I think Southampton played well, not for the first 20, 25 minutes, but after that, we did play very good football and just made some bad mistakes. I think in the first fifteen minutes, we only passed the ball twenty times. Um, that's that's ridiculous. But after that, we played really well, and it, it was a good performance, just with no reward. Um, and in fact, with with much punishment, which is is just a shame. But that's all. That's all that you can do. You know, I can't really change anything that's happened. And we're playing Bournemouth away um, next week, which is going to be awful because Bournemouth are amazing right now. It's a little South Coast derby. I reckon we're going to lose that game too, and it's just a bit scary. Then we're hosting Newcastle. I'm hoping that we'll be able to um, we'll be able to win against Newcastle because. I mean, they played amazingly against Man United, but I feel like they can't um, keep that up. But who knows? Um, yeah, that's, how, that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the game. And um, obviously, like if you enjoyed my opinion. Um, I'm trying not to be biased here. I do think Chelsea deserve to win the game. And, and that's all that, that, that matters. But I don't think we played badly. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand the difference between being cynical and being tactical. Um, I don't think we were a dirty team. It's a shame to see six yellow cards, though. But oh well, uh, I'll see you guys next week where I'm going to talk about the Bournemouth Southampton game. But I'm also, I think, I'm going to see you maybe even later on today uh, to talk about Doctor Who because Doctor Who's come back and that's something I like too. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.